show you that this is a biblical pattern. I want to show you that it is impossible for God to give a person a dream, and he does give people dreams for their life, a desired end. A dream, again, is a projected destiny of where you shall be, where your family shall be, where your marriage shall be, where your life shall be. And never does God plant that in your heart with that dream that the enemy doesn't come with his nightmare. And unless you can endure, and unless you can endure hell's nightmare, you'll never experience heaven's dream for your life. The moment that most people give up is the moment of the greatest opportunity. Everything you want is on the other side of not giving up. And I promise you, when God puts a dream in your heart, the nightmare will come. What is the nightmare? It's, it's the pathway to your destiny. You cannot get to the dream without the nightmare and the pathway of the nightmare because it purifies you. It purifies your motives. The nightmare is the enemy trying to steal that dream and get you to give up. The question is, can God trust you with trouble? Because the moment that the enemy senses you have a God-given dream, he will try to send the opposite and cause a nightmare. And if God can put you in trouble, it's a vote of heaven's confidence in you. Trouble and the nightmare is a vote of heaven's confidence in you. Your trouble is your pathway to triumph. Your pain is your pathway to a higher praise. Your mess is a pathway to the miraculous things of God in your life. The dream is your destiny. The dream tells you where you're going. The nightmare is your pathway to it. Your adversity will advance you. The nightmare is the pathway to the dream that you're called to. Calvary was the pathway to the dream of the church. God said, I have a dream. I want a church. Jesus said, I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And hell said, I don't think so. We'll stop you. We'll nail you to a cross. But when Jesus stepped out of that tomb, guess what? The nightmare became the pathway to the dream. The purpose of the dream is twofold. The purpose of the dream is to give you a sense of destiny. That you're not just here wandering through life. That there is a sense of destiny, purpose, and calling that is upon your life. And you don't have to be in ministry to have a dream. God has a dream for every person. You're not an accident. And the dream is about a sense of destiny on your life. The second purpose of a dream is to inspire you to reach for it. To stretch. To get out of your comfort zone. To go beyond what you think, you think you're capable of doing. That's what a dream that God plants in your heart will do for you. The nightmare is threefold. The nightmare when you're going through darkness, when you're going through trial, when you're going through setback and adversity, then guess what? You're going to find out three things. The nightmare is about self-discovery. You're going to find out who you are. You're going to find out that your security cannot be in what other people say or feel about you. That at some point you have to get something inside of you that says, I believe it and I don't care what anybody says. I know what God has told me and you find out who you are. And not only is the nightmare about self-discovery, but it's also about God discovery. You'll find more about God in the darkness in your life than you will in the sunshine days. God said, I dwell in thick darkness. He actually said that. He said, I dwell in thick darkness. In other words, if you want to know more about God, then he allows you to go through darkness. It's not God's will for you to always be in sunshiny, successful, beautiful days, but actually 
actually, you'll learn more about God and who he is in the dark places, in the lonely places, in the times when you don't understand and you feel forgotten and you don't know who you are anymore and you don't know what's happening anymore. And God is strangely silent. And many of you are walking through that kind of darkness and you don't want to be alone, but God has you alone. He has you cornered. I promise you he's doing a mighty, mighty work in your life. And you're going to find out who you are and you're going to find out who God is. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.